Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a little look at major and minor chords. This is something that you guys have asked about. How do we know what a major and minor chord are? How do we play them on the harp? What's the difference? We're gonna get into all of that in this video. So, if you're ready to learn all about major and minor chords, let's get going. Alright guys, so before we get into what a major or a minor chord is, let's talk about what a chord is. Now, when we generally talk about chords, the term chord actually can be just two or more notes played at the same time. When we talk about chords in music in general, we are talking about specific chords and we're actually talking about triads. So for example, if someone says the chord of C or the C chord, they're talking about the C triad. The notes that are make, make up the C chord are the notes that are in the C triad. Let's just take a bit of a closer look at that to make sure we all really know what I'm talking about here. So if you know what a triad is, you know what a chord is. So the C triad, C, E and G, you can see that I have got one gap in between each of my fingers. This is the C chord. I can play it as a chord or I can play it as a broken chord. That's the chord of C. It's those notes that make up the chord of C. I can play it here or I can play it here. This is still the chord of C, just in a different order. Any combination of these notes, these three notes played, all of these are the chord of C. And so when we're talking about chords, we're talking about those three notes that make up triads. Now, like I said, a chord is actually two or more notes played at the same time. And those notes can be given lots of different names. You might have heard of people talking about like the diminished chord and, you know, the augmented chord and the flat five and all these different things. Um, and all of these different terms mean slightly different things. But when we talk about the C chord or the F chord or the A chord, we're talking about those triads. So that's the first thing that we need to know. Now, what is the difference between the minor chord and the major chord? Well, it's actually all about that middle note. So we have three notes in our C chord. Let's take C as an example. We have C, E and G. Whether that chord is major or minor, we have the C and the G. That note or those notes don't change. It's that middle note that makes the difference to the tonality of the chord. And so that's the one we have to really watch out for. And what is actually making the dis difference is the distance between what's called the root of our chord or the note that's at the bottom of our chord or the note that the chord is named after. Let's take a bit of a closer look as I talk about this. So here's our C chord or our C triad and the root of our chord is C. And the tonality is dictated by the distance between the C and the third of our chord, okay? And the reason we call this is the third is because it's three notes up, C, D, E, it's a third up, three notes up. And so we can talk about the major or the minor third. The G, which is five notes up, it's the fifth of the chord, it doesn't change. Whether we're major or minor, it doesn't change. It's always the C and the G. It's this E, the third, that makes the difference. If we have a major third, then our chord is major. And if we have a minor third, then our chord is minor. And some people describe this as happy or sad. Now, what's the difference really between this major third and this minor third? It is the distance between the C, the root of the chord, and the third. If we have a major chord, the distance between the C and the G is a major third. And we can count that based on semitones. We have to move from C to E in order to get a major third. And the distance that we're moving is four semitones. In other words, a semitone is a half step in music. Some people know it's half step. So C to C sharp would be one. C sharp to D 
would be 2, D to D sharp would be 3, and D sharp to E would be 4. So we need to move 4 semitones or 4 half steps to get our major third. And we're doing that by moving from C to E. That's our major third. For our minor third, we only need three semitones. So our minor third is moving from C to E flat. In other words, we move to C, from C to C sharp, that's one semitone or half start step. C sharp to D is our next one, and then D to E flat, that's our third semitone, our third half step. And it gives us our minor third. And when we put that in our chord, we get our C minor chord. So three semitones between the root and the third gives us our minor chord. Four semitones or four half steps between our root and our third gives us our major chord. And as you can hear, it sounds quite cheerful or quite happy. It sounds quite melancholy, more dark, more sad major and minor. But the only difference is that third note. All the other notes stay the same. And of course, on the lever harp, we can do that really easily by moving levers. So let's just apply that really briefly to another chord, just to make sure we've definitely understood. Let's take the G chord. So here, hopefully you can all hear that this is G major at the moment. I have a G and then a B and then a D. So let's count the distance that we have. We know it's a major third because we know it's a major chord, but we should have four semitones between the G and the B to give us that major third. G to G sharp is one. G sharp to A is two. A to B flat is three. And B flat to B is four. So we have our four semitones. In order to make this a G minor chord, we need to make the distance between the G and the B smaller. Shouldn't be four semitones or four half steps, it should be three. If we give ourselves a B flat, G to G sharp, G sharp to A, A to B flat, three semitones. And we have a minor chord. So there you go, that's the difference between major chords and minor chords. Yes, one is happy and one is sad, but major chords, have a distance of four semitones between the root of the chord and the third. Minor chords have a distance of three semitones, or three half steps, between the root and the third. Well, I hope this video has been helpful and you guys have learned a little bit about harmony. If you've enjoyed it, please let us know. Please do like and subscribe and write in the comments. Do you like major chords better or minor chords? Do you like a mixture of the two? What's your favorite chord that you play on the harp? Let us know in the comments. Let us know how you're getting on. I hope you're enjoying playing around with harmony and hope to see you all very soon. Happy harping everyone.